on the beaten path is in Brazil. Now, every time I go to a country, it's important to learn as much as you can about their musical culture. Antonio Pinto. Now, that name might not ring a bell to you, but he's responsible for the music you've heard in such films as Lord of War, Collateral, and of course, the Brazilian popular movie, City of God. This is his production house. Maybe we're not walking here. Antonio Pinto. <laughs> On the beaten path here with Antonio Pinto, composer of such quality movies as City of God, and Collateral, and Lord of War, and he's exposing us to all the fine elements of Brazilian popular culture. Adão, Adão He named himself this. Nobody can say this word. He was a very poor man. He was living in the favelas. I was working on a film that was being shot in the favelas in Rio. I met this guy. He is some sort of like a guru. An old guy. He used to be the drug lord, the owner of the favela. And he got shot 11 times by a machine gun. Just, but like this, you know. Da, 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 da. Probably drug related. Yeah, of course, it was a fight. It was actually a fight between two gangs. He was a little bit fucked up in the head. He started to read all these religious books. Uh, he believed that he would become, he would transform himself into smoke and he would go into his enemy's lungs through the nose. It's interesting. Isn't it? <laughs> I treat him really well. Sure, sure. He used to compose songs with the drum here and just sing them and write the, the, the lyrics. And he had like more than 500 songs, and he would remember all of them. See, they, are, they were very nice. I was amazed by him. So I went to, to, to his house in the favelas with a small record, uh, a recorder. recorder, and I recorded him singing a cappella. I don't know, 30 songs. So I brought this material to the studio, and I chose, um, I don't know, yeah, 12 songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. So I cleaned it up, all the, the vocals, I, something that was out of tune, I tuned it. After they were all clean, I started to record the instruments under his voice. Sure. So this record is like a collaboration of his fantastic compositions and lyrics and music, and me playing. People had to listen to what this guy was singing. This took me like two years because actually I was this was like I, I was doing it for free for my for me and I was able to to set up set up a band who was going to go on tour with the record and he died. Oh, you're kidding! Yeah. Did he ever get to hear the album? Oh yeah, he, he, okay. I think in a way, I don't. I, I'm not saying that the record killed him, but <laughs> but for him it was like a. a a mission accomplished, you know, like, sure. okay, the, now I have this, maybe. Um. This is a track from the uh, Sao Paulo Favelo Bob Dylan. Assuming Bob Dylan was shot by a machine gun in 11 places. Yeah. So obviously he has a, a very political message. Oh, totally. And his voice is very good. What about the music industry here in Brazil in terms of, you know, record sales and, 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 and concerts and... Can musicians here make a living? We suffer uh, the same in, in, in another level. Is there is there evidence of you know the idea of payola, yeah. where you know labels or people will pay to have their music in the radio? Uh, oh, played yeah. on the radio? Oh. Th that happens still, of course, here. Brazil yeah. was playing a lot of Brazil. Brazilians were listening to a lot of Brazilian music, sure. and it was very good. Late fifties and sixties, like bossa nova, and then the seventies. Started to, you started to have the, the influence of funk, American funk, big parties in the favelas and in the... So they mixed the samba with funk. And then on the 80s, we started to have a lot of rock and roll bands. Not, not rock and roll as, as, as the 60s. Rock and roll like new wave, punk, a big movement. A lot of, lots of bands like Chitans, uh, Paralamas do Sucesso, uh, Kid Abelhas. It was a big movement of rock and roll. And 90s was... Horrible. 
because was the, the the record companies started to, to to play like American folk music mixed with with uh, Brazilian folk music, so it was like a kind of a Western. We call it sertanejo. Sertanejo. <laughs> What we're doing right now is we're getting evidence of the left turn of the Brazilian music scene in the 90s here. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. Of course, it's popular. They sell it like shit. Shit sells, dude. You're gonna say that, yeah, you're gonna say that. Hi. Hi, it's Antonio Pinto, and you're watching on the beat. Bad. <laughs> Catch us live somewhere on this planet. Peace.